Right now, Willowbrook has quite a few turtles that are under our care for injuries that have probably been caused by being hit by a car. This is an unfortunate time of year for these turtles as they're making their movements naturally either between bodies of water or moving to a nesting ground to lay their eggs. They often have to cross roadways and this is where they can run into problems with cars. If a car is driving down a road you may not realize there's a turtle there and it's easy enough to accidentally clip it. Um, so one thing as you're driving around roadways, especially if you are aware of body of water, is to just keep your eyes open, watch for anything that may be on the edges of the road. They may look like rocks, and so it may be harder to avoid, but of course you'd want to avoid that anyway. So just make it a point to keep your eyes open and be aware, so hopefully you aren't going to run into any interactions with turtles trying to cross roads. A common injury that we see is for their shells to be fractured. Usually we'll see it on the top part of their shell, but sometimes underneath as well. This year, what our vet on staff is trying to do is she's actually doing everything she can to get those shell fractures lined up so the turtles can heal faster. To do this, she sedates the turtles with an anesthesia solution and then actually puts a couple of hardware screws into the shell itself. So these just go into the shell superficially it, to create as little damage as we can. And then she uses a cable tie or a zip tie wrapped around the screws tightens it and by doing that we've actually pulled the two pieces of the fracture closer together so the shell can heal faster. The big thing is to just be aware of your surroundings and if you do run into an issue or you see a turtle on the side of the road, please feel free to always give Willowbrook a call and we can provide you with some guidance about what to do next.